Shalom, Israel. It's a beautiful day out here to push the word of the Lord, man. It's a beautiful day out here to, to think about the grace of the Most High and the truth that he gave us, that he allowed us to come into. That's right. And we can't forsake it. We got to keep pushing, man. But guess what? Those fears on us, man. I have the adversary working. We got to work. We got to be up day and night. We got to work. Because the heathen going to tell you that you can't keep this word. You can't keep this law, and then they push it at the same time. Hypocrisy. Your own people are feeding to the lies and tell you that you can't keep this book, that you can't keep it in truth, that you can't keep it in spirit. But then turn around and push it. It's hypocrisy. Satan's number one goal is he wants you to know, he wants you to learn the book, but not learn the book. It's confusion. Right, right. Satan wants you to sit in church, but he ain't going to tell you nothing that the book says. Right. The law says to do this and do that. But if you break the law, that's a sin, right? That's right. But don't nobody know what sin is. We have been in the church all our life and we don't know what sin is, the right thing out. that the Lord hates. But the people will walk up all day long, how they sanctified. God is on their side. God woke them up and he's dealing with them. But sin all day long. Man, let me get that, uh, what is it? Yeah, bring out first John 3 and 4. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever, whosoever committed sin, transgressive, also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Come, one of the most beautiful scriptures I ever read when I first came into the truth. The acknowledgement that sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. You can't get around it. What do you want to say is Christ's law? What do you want to say is God's law? What do you want to say is the law of Moses? But you got to know, we're talking about the same thing every time. The book of, is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, and verse 6. For the most high hated sinners. What? For the most high hated sinners. No, 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 no. Say, say God, God hates sin. He hates he hate sin and he loves sinners. Bring that out again. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 12, and verse 6. For the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. Uh, said, uh, say, say some, of, some of the people on the earth were born for the day of judgment. The That's wicked. Right. He gonna keep you for the day of judgment. Let me get on. Um, let me get that Psalms, Psalms 7 and 11 and read the 12. Man, y'all gotta know what's going on out here. It say Satan came, he deceived the whole world. And it's the it's our world that's being deceived because we're the people that the law was given to. That's right. But we got these claims that we put, and we say this, we and we say that we don't know what the book says, man. Bring that out. This is Psalm seven and eleven. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. God judges the righteous, and He's angry with the wicked every day. You ask a Christian what that means. Well, see. Uh, that the context is is he was talking to Paul and Paul was his enemy and and no brother Paul was the only one wicked so he was only upset with Paul he's upset with the wicked every day three verse twelve if he turn not he will wet his sword if the Most High don't turn away from your wickedness he gonna slay you he gonna put you on the chopping block and it's over but ain't that the mercies of the Most High that in, in your wickedness, oh Israel, that he'll turn his back so he don't got to see your nasty filth as you walk around the streets and you happy that you get to enjoy this weather on God's earth, but then you pollute his name. Right. The name that he gave to you, that he put on you to represent right. him in the earth. Right. Let me get all that. that uh, Zechariah. This is the book of Ze 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 Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 13. Therefore, it has come to pass. That as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, said the Lord of hosts. He said that we cried to him, and he wouldn't hear us because he cried to them, and they didn't want to hear him. Mm, wow. Then they pulled the shoulder. When they in Egypt, they told Jeremiah, we don't want to hear nothing. You talking about Jeremiah for sure. Us and I mean, we're going to sacrifice to these gods. We'll take up the uh, verse 11. Come on, bring it out. Uh, this is the book of that Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 11. 
But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. And that's what they do to us all the day long. The prophets in these last days come out here bringing out the word. They pulled away the shoulder. They don't want to hear what we got to say. But we came out here just for Israel, just for you, to let you know who you are. You cry to the Lord at night when you get fired, when your mom in the hospital, when sickness and disease take over your house, when your car get possessed, yeah, Israel gonna cry then. You wanna, you wanna entreat the Lord. You wanna send up them prayers then. But does the Lord have to hear you? Hear you for what? Let me get Proverbs 28 and 9. I wanna hear you for? Cause he spoke to you all the day long. He gave you a beautiful song to dance to, but you didn't want to hear. Bring it up. This is what the Proverbs chapter 28. Verse 9, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. He that turneth away his ear, ain't that what they turned the shoulder? Because that's what the prophets did. All the prophets prophesied about was the law, the downfall of Israel. Israel, you need to repent. You need to come back and keep the law. But that's where your strength lies. Your strength lies in your God. The connection to your God is by doing what he wants you to do on the earth. Right, but if right. you don't do that, you don't have no power with your God. Right. How you going to tap into him? It don't make no sense. Our people are delusional, man. You have unplugged yourself from the socket. You don't have no power. But you think, yeah, because you're driving this wheel, you got this kind of job, you wear these type of clothes, you got this kind of house, you live in the city, you got the condo, you got you got a you got the new iPhone, you got technology and whatnot. You think you got power? Man, they drop an EMP, that is over with, man. See how much power you got then? I bet you cry to the Lord. But is he going to hear you in that day? Huh, what you got, King? This the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith shall ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Uh, verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and was as yet of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Hey, man, that's crazy. I remember reading that scripture, but like, that's crazy. The same, they loathed his law, and they, but they had liberty. Ain't that, that's that grace, right? right. Paul told us, don't abuse grace. Uh, you can't stand why you have grace. That's right. But they loathed his law. And yet when place of repentance was given to them, that grace period, they understood it not. But you got the prophets in here in the last days, the men of the Lord, telling you about this grace. Telling you about how spirit of the law, to keep the law, but if you fall, you got to get back up, brother. That's we right. understand We understand the complex situation that we in in this captivity, man. But those same people didn't want to listen. They got to learn after death by pain. That's right. And they got to feel it, man. Who got a, what you are, you know, what you're saying, what, what's the preacher I want? It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Uh, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, man, because the, the living God brings terror in the world of men. That's right. He said, is there not evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? That's right. You know, scriptures like that send Christians on the whirlwind. Right, they have right. no answer. But the Most High gave us the knowledge to comprehend the scriptures in these last days, pouring his spirit out, man. That's right. We got that John 9 and 31. Right. The book of John, chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that the Most High heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. The Lord does not hear a sinner. I don't care how many prayers you done prayed up. If you're not keeping the commandments and the faith in Christ, the Lord is not hearing you. That's right. But, but you know, the Christians will say, well, why well, I prayed and, and this had happened. It came true. For sure the Lord hear me. I don't care what you say. The brothers up there with that Bible talking about that's in the scripture. Telling the Lord don't hear me. And I prayed for that job and I got it. Let me get Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. The Psalm chapter 5 and verse 5. The foolish shall not sag in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. And that's fire. 
But they ain't never heard that in church. And a pastor won't touch that. He won't touch that with a 12 foot pole, man. You know, that's that that's corona to the pastor. They don't want to go nowhere near. He put on the face mask if he hears something like that. Come on, come on. Who got that who got that Ecclesiastes 9-11? The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right, because the Lord don't judge you immediately for your wickedness. You're gonna wake up in the morning, you're gonna say, you gonna before you before you hop in the shower, you're gonna say, Oh, thank you, Lord, I give you all the praise and the glory. And then you're gonna go right around and you're gonna you're gonna pursue your neighbor's wife. If it's a Sabbath, you're gonna defile and break the Sabbath. Our people are ignorant, they walking in darkness, man. Let me get nine on the left. Right. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, and verse 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to, to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to them all. That's why you feel like you can be out here sinning. And the Lord answering your prayers. Because it ain't the strength of the man. It ain't the, the smarts of the man. It ain't the, effective, it ain't the effectiveness of the man. It's by chance that these things happen. Because the same thing that you might have prayed about in your wickedness, in your dirt and your filth, it might have came true. But another thing you might have prayed about, it didn't happen. But when that didn't happen, you didn't say, oh, the Lord is not with me. You discarded it. You went all about your day saying, oh, how the Lord is with me and how I'm saved. Come on, man. Who um, got that? Thou shalt not endure uh, those that are just in the same shall be saved. Huh. This is the book of Matt, 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 Matthew chapter 24 and verse, verse, verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved. No, he is saved. The same, the same shall, shall be, be saved. saved. Shall be saved. Listen, man. Not only did, did the Lord put it on us to preach the gospel and preach this word, we also got to preach grammar and, and, and proper etiquette. We got to break down pro. We got to break down pronouns and root words for these simple people out here. That's right. Shall be. We got to break it. Listen, I wasn't the best in English. I had to cheat my way through, but I can understand that. <laughs> God. What's going on out here, man? We listen to these scholars trying to break down the words, and they confuse. They don't know what the words say because the Spirit is not dealing with them, man. That's right. God, it, look, when you read that Bible and you come into this knowledge, you get to understand the characteristics of the Most High God. The Lord will bring up somebody from the dust and make them a power. That's right. He ain't dealing with no scholars in your pride. He's not dealing with that. The Lord does things marvelously. Right. He don't look at things in the flesh. He don't see how man see. No, he gonna he gonna he gonna confound you with the simple. Yeah. Huh, what you got, King? This is Brother Deuteronomy. How you doing, chapter brother? 30 and verse 19. Two for the word I for the called Lord. heaven and earth to afford uh -huh. this day against you. And uh -huh. I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Uh -huh. that's right. Choose life. But our people chose death. The commandments of life. Look at um, Psalm 19. Uh, Let me get uh, Psalms 119 and 142. Uh, the commandments of life. Man. That's right. Ain't no way in the hell you can read the law and the prophets and say that it's done away with? Are you crazy? Only your mother and your father done away with. Oh, we ain't got to do it. We, ain't, I ain't, we don't got to do it no more. Oh, for sure you're not going to say that. You're not going to say um, that you can sleep with your neighbor's wife. You're not going to say that. What? You're not going to attack those things. Satan is very crafty and we're wise of his, we're wise of his devices. That's right. We know he's not, he not going to lead the people. He's not going to lead the people to say that. That's, that's too extreme. He's going to say, you don't got to, them friends just know you don't got to do that. Them feast days, no, you don't got to do that. Well, Keep Christian. What you tell me times, though? They're going to pay their tithes. Right. They're going to pay. They need to fund the church. He got to fund it some type of way. Right. They're going to, yeah. Hey, that's right, though. That's a fact. They're going to teach, pay them tithes, but they ain't going to twist the scriptures. Right? We all know. We read the law. Tithes was food. It was the crop that you got from your field. That's right. It was your herd and your cattle. 
It was only money under one exception. Is if the way be too far for you. That's right. Then you converted the money. And you had to take it somewhere still. To buy food. Yeah. Come on, man. What you holding here? Son. This is Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Hey, we was once simple in the world. Thinking that we were wise. Coming to the knowledge of the truth, we don't know a damn thing. But the Lord built us up, right? That's right. The law is perfect. Converting the soul. Converting the, most people get in the gym, they want to convert their flesh. They want to get into these books and these philosophies, want to convert their flesh. But the, the law of the Lord converts the soul. Teaches us how to operate as, as, as model human beings in, in the earth. We don't pollute the earth, right? We... We don't eat the foul foods. That's right. We know how to honor and praise our God. The church house is think people think that's where you honor and praise the Lord in, but they don't do no honoring of God in that place. Mm. Wor if you break down the definition of the word worship, it means to reverence, to have high respect and regard to. What's more worship than doing what the word commands you to do? That's yeah, right. we're gonna keep the Passover. Yeah, we're gonna keep the feast of uh, un unleavened bread is coming up. Right. Yeah, we're going to keep first fruits and the Sabbath and the new moon, right? But not only that, I'm going to love my brother and myself. That's right. That's right. Y'all hey, are a bunch of goofies out here, man. Hey, what you, you holding? Oh, Book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Uh, the law is the truth. You know that Christ is the truth. Right. Christ is a part of the law. He's in the law. That's right. If you listen, man, when I when I teach my rib, she gets the best lessons ever. I can't never record them. If you do away with Christ, if you do away the law, you do away Christ. That's right. If right. you do it, if the law is done away with, where is your sacrifice for sin? Right. It's in the law. Right. Where's the atonement? Where's the, the atonement for the sin? It's in the law. Where's the prophet that's gonna be raised up like Moses? It's in the law. That's right. If, you, if the law is done away with, Christ is done in effect. So right. Paul gonna get y'all murdered. Paul gonna right. get y'all decapitated. It's something. It's something he's not talking about. It's something he's talking about that you confuses. Paul don't have to say, "Oh, now this is the law of the sacrifice." So and so and so and so, because so, so, he said, "I'm, I'm talking to those that know the law." That's right. Come on, man. Pay attention, man. This book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15 and verse 2. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while ye be with him. And if ye seek him, he will be found of you. But if ye forsake him, he will forsake you. Man, hey, folks think that the Lord waiting on them. The Lord ain't waiting on you, man. He might be, he might, in that, in that time that you got, he might be saying, if you're going to come to him, the Lord not waiting on you, man. He'll raise up somebody else. That's right. The Lord will blow your candlelight and go get somebody else if you're playing in this truth. That's right. And if you're in the world, you ain't even in the game, man. That's right. He says, seek him and he will come to you. Right. You come nigh to him and he will come nigh to you. That's right. Stop playing, man. Look, what, uh, what Craig say? Man, you walk up all, all day up and down the street playing. The Lord ain't playing no game. That's right. It was two brothers that was wicked in Genesis, the sons of Judah. The Lord said they did wicked and he killed them on the spot. That's right. Don't become an op. If you become an op, you become a pack. Right. This is Psalms chapter 1, night, 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 19 to verse 60. I made haste right. and delayed right. not to keep thy commandments. That the Lord is not playing. Right. Better make haste and keep the commandments before that time, before it hit noon, doomsday. But the scripture also say that there's a time that's too late. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. Draw nigh to the most high, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double minded. Say, clear your, your hands, clear your hands, what? Clear your hands, ye sinners. And, and, it's like you. And purify your hearts, 
ye double minded. Man, why are we in the New Testament and we still talking about sin? That's right. If sin is a transgression of the law, if it was if it's done away with, it shouldn't be, we shouldn't even be talking about this. Why are we even having this conversation? He should say, keep the faith in Christ, and that's all you gotta do. That's it. Just keep the faith in Christ. We walk up all day long down the street playing, man. Playing in the Lord's face. It's gonna be a scary sight. When them nukes hit, when them, e when them EMPs hit, when you got to worry about where you going to get water from. Uh -huh. All right, what you got? The book of St. Peter, chapter 3, and verse 10. For the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Damn. And it's hot, man. It said the elements. They'll be what? They're gonna be with fervent heat. Man, I don't know. I ain't never been that hot before. And I I don't, I don't want to be that hot. Damn, man, listen, man. The Lord is not playing. No, he's gonna purge the earth with fire. So these heathen get to walk up and down the street and enjoy your day. They get to rule in their kingdom and and they get to uh extort the Israelites to build up their palaces and their high places. And they get to they get to rule over us with rigor, but it's gonna be a time that our captivity will be turned around. That's right. But we're gonna rule in righteousness. It ain't gonna be no more smog in the city. It ain't gonna be no more pedophiles and homosexuals walking. There. It ain't gonna be no more brothers on top, man. That's right. We're gonna be clean and glorify our bodies. With our power, our God sitting next to us. That's right. We bowing down at his throne. It's gonna be a marvelous time, man. We ain't gonna get the we we not we not gonna have we gonna we're not gonna have the the uh the the chance to see such hideous women walk around like this. That's right. It's unfortunate. I don't want to see it no more. It's gonna be a time where the women of Zion are gonna be dressed in their marvelous apparel. That's right. Ain't gonna be no more talking back. You ain't gonna have to talk back because there ain't gonna be nothing to talk back about. We're gonna be too <laughs> busy trying to live gloriously. That's right. That's it right. ain't gonna be no more. Listen, man. It, we gotta meditate on these things. Cause this all we got. Living in this hell hole, we live in this all we got, man. Somebody hold something. This is Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Break that down, man. So the scriptures say, make no tarrying, right? To turn to the Lord. Meaning you gotta make haste. You gotta hurry up, right? Because suddenly you done waited and you done tarry, and the nukes drop. The wrath of the Lord come forth, and you're destroyed in the day of his vengeance. Hey, hey y'all want to hear the word of the Lord? Come, come hear the word of the Lord. Y'all know the word of the Lord? Well, how you, how you get the kingdom? How you get the kingdom? I can't hear you. People don't know, and they don't, and they don't care nothing about finding out neither. They got better things to do, man. This is Jer Jer Jeremiah chapter eleven and verse two. Now, hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and unto the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, First be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. First be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. He's talking to everybody. He's talking to us, man. That's right. Hey, we took we took a we we signed a waiver. We signed we signed a holy disclaimer, man. Right on the dotted line, for for generation after generation, no matter if you ignorant to it or not, in in blood. That's right. Ain't no getting out of it. Now give me uh Sirach chapter two and verse one. Yeah, let me get on. Um, it's no getting out of it, man. The book of, uh, the book of Sirach, chapter two and verse one. My son. If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright. 
and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou may be increased at thy last end. What? So if you come and serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. You acknowledging, this, this for those that's in the truth. This is, if you're in the world, you ain't coming to serve the Lord. This for those that's in the truth. They, they have to understand this. That's if right. you come to serve the Lord, you got to prepare yourself for temptation. That's right. Guess what? Because Satan is a royal lion seeking who he can devour, waiting on you for, waiting on you to be idle, waiting on you to be standing by, doing nothing, right. not <laughs> doing the labor. Hey, come hear the words of the Lord. Come get the word of the Lord, bro. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Come get the word. I'm walking all up and down the street all day playing. Right. Come on, come on, brother. What's going on, brother? What's happening, brother? You know who you are? According to the Bible? You don't know who you are according to the Bible? You a sinner? Do you do you want to be a sinner? I love everybody. I love everything. That ain't what I asked you though. Do you do you want to be a sinner? Do you want to come up out your sin? You know what sin is? What? Let's get that first job three or four. Hey man, listen, you came on the right day. That's right. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna find this out nowhere else. The book of First John. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. Sin is the transgre the transgression of God's laws. Have you ever heard of God's laws? Can you name a few? You know, there are, you know there are a lot more laws than just the just the Ten Commandments. Yeah. All right, brother. So let me get on. Um, what you got? What you got? Come on. This is the book of Romans, chapter six and verse twenty-three. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Right. 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 But you know, to to operate in God's will and to keep his laws, you have to be a certain way, right? You know, I, I see your swag. I see I, I see you. You know, do do you do you know you're a man? I say I'm a man. All right, bring out bring bring that out about the about the effeminate. And then let me get um Deuteronomy Deuteronomy twenty two. Yeah, I got it. First Corinthians. Because, uh, brother, um, you know that the effeminate will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. What? Uh, bring it it's the I book of First Corinthians. Uh, come on, back, brother. brother. Come here, brother. We love brother, you, brother. You have to come, come back. Word. Brother, that's not true. Jesus, Jesus does not love everybody. And we'll come read it to you in the scriptures. See, hey, man, listen, man. Even the effeminate can be prideful. It don't take nothing to be prideful for that thing that the Lord hates, man. You see the brother coming on, he got his sauce walker earring, like the sauce walker got the Come back over come back over here, brother. You wanna hear out the Bible, don't you? It's crazy because like the first three precepts you read was to say how God hates that's right. Now you you asking good questions now, brother. Come, come let him teach you. He's gonna tell you who wrote it. I wanna know. We're gonna, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about the price. I don't wanna be in the middle of this now. This is y'all this is y'all's space. You know, I'm not trying to get in y'all's space. We, we, we out here for you, bro. We can get right here. Yeah, what, what what you got? What you gonna get? This Luke chapter six and verse forty six. And why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say. Why you calling on you you calling on Jesus, but you don't do the things that he say. Let me get um. Let me get John fifteen and fourteen. Teach, up. teach. You have to operate in a manner in which Christ. You say Jesus loved everybody, but 
Jesus loved these people on this sign. Who's on the list? You got to come closer. Who on the list? Got to come a little closer Wait, to see. Jesus you, loves only the people on the yeah. list. Yeah. You right. see yourself on here? Bring that out. I, where Bring am I on this list? It's the book of Matthew. Where am I on this list? Chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Christ, Christ, red letters out of his own mouth. I am not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The 12 tribes. Right. Let me get Hebrews 9. I'm not trying to see yourself on that side right there. I see, I see a bunch of different people. All right. So let's, let's, let's go down the list. So you see Judah, right? Right. That, that's the biblical name right there is Judah. The name today is American Black. Does that apply to you? Yes. All right, so then that's you right there. You want that sign. Christ died for you. Not for everybody. Not for the whole world. Why not? For you. Why he died for everybody? Let me get that Hebrews 9 and 15. Why can't we save everybody? Because we don't show you in the Bible. Why can't we save them all? It's the book of Hebrews. Watch this, bro. Chapter 9 and verse 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which were called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Right. Christ is the mediator of the New Testament by means of death, because he died on the cross, right? right, right but it right. said he died for those for the redemption of those that were under the First Testament. That's right. You know what the, the First Testament was? That was in with Moses and Moses. He was in the Exodus. He got Pharaoh, let my people go into the world. That was the Israelites. It's clean out the Bible. He died for those that were under the first testament. Yeah, but when he was walking, right? Okay, so Jesus yeah. got up there, right? And he was like, Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Who was the them? The people that crucified him. Who, who, who was it? The people that crucified him. Let me get on. Um, Pontius Pilate. You need a name, you need a biblical name. Pontius Pilate crucified. It was the Israelites, brother. You got that king, let his blood be on us and our children. Brother, you gotta come back a little closer, man. Listen, you gotta listen and pay attention. You gotta think this word in. Because no matter, forget what you thought you knew. Because we've all been taught the same thing. We've all been taught lies. You got to forget what you thought you knew. Bring it out. Forget what you thought you knew. And you got to come back to what's true. Don't go back. Don't go back to church. Because they go, they're going to put you back. To, we in church right now. Bring that out. The book of Matthew, chapter 27 and verse 24. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that, it's like it, but that rather a tumult was made. He took water and washed his hands before the multitude saying, huh. I am, oh, you got it, you got it. Oh. I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and on our children. Christ was crucified in the land of Judea. It was Israelites there. All Israelites. Pilate said, my hands are clean. But the but the Jews said, his blood be on us and our children. That same blood that was made for the atonement of his people. This verse is prophetic. Christ did not come for all people. I'm just saying, man, like there are good Jewish people out there. That's all I'm saying. We are the Jews. We are not Jewish. Do? You got to repent, brother. You got to come. Re repent out your out you being effeminate. Then you gotta repent out your wickedness. You gotta repent and you gotta keep the laws of God. That's right. Man, bring that in the room. He, this man, you 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 I can sit in now, man. You want me to you want me to stop being uh, who I am. That, that's what he said. You did first thing you gotta change your ways, bro. You gotta change you have to change we your ways. No, nah, we gave we gave up the ways of the world. We gave up Christmas. We gave up pork. We gave up all types of wickedness that we did. We gave up chasing women to only be with one woman, only to, to be committed to 
the women that I look, we stopped making whores out of our, out of the daughters of Zion. That's what we stopped doing. That's, that's right. I know that's right. Uh, what you got? It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Come back, brother. You got to hear this. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulteress, nor effeminate, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Hey, brother. Brother, you're an Israelite, you gotta come out your wickedness, or you're gonna get put to death, man. Thus saith the Lord. Why don't you read that next verse too? Verse 11. And such were some of you. But ye were but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah, and by the spirit of our power. That's right, man. Right. And what some of us. Some right. of the wicked, some of the wicked, man. Listen, man, this is club right there, man. I used to go over there and do my thing. But listen, I don't, I can't go over there no more. I, I can't. It not, my spirit don't even want me to go over there. Because that ain't, that ain't what I do, man. I'd rather be at the feast days with, with the man of the Lord, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? We get together on, on the Shabbats and the new moons and the Passovers. And, it, and it's a holy convocation. Everybody in there is like minded on one accord, and that's the worship of both sides. We're not. It's nothing lame about it, man. But guess what? Pride will cast a man down. That's right. Hey, who got that um, pride war before Christ? I know I'm, I'm butchering the quote. But yeah, man, the brother didn't want to hear what the Lord was telling him. He didn't want to leave his effeminateness. And as you seen him walk away when the toot his butt, man, and you think that shit cute. But guess what? With a rebellious man, the Lord has sent a cruel message. And that ain't nothing that you want to play with, man. All right, bring it out. Sorry. Right. Damn, that's crazy, man. Brother try to act, he tried to act goofy like he didn't know he wasn't feminine. Like, man, we see you got the you got sparkling earrings in that, that hang lower than my ribs, man. What you Blame it. Blame it, man. Man, listen, but in the kingdom of God, there'll be no more of that. You're going to be walking around like men. You know what I'm saying? Book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 18. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Listen, the brother had both. The brother was prideful and haughty like the daughter of Zion. He went the way messy. Tinkling. <laughs> Come on, man. But look, man. I'm a I'ma end it right there, man. This is uh Star R. And I'm out here with the brothers, Iron Horn and Zion. And we are the south of the earth, man. Shalom. 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 Shalom.